Good Monday Makers, it's time for another Community Build Roundup, and in this week's episode, we're checking out a poolside projector screen frame, a batting cage, some garden projects, a bike rack pet carrier, and a chicken tractor. All kinds of really awesome builds and some cool things that we'll look at in each of them. Let's jump right in and check them out. First up is the poolside projector screen frame from Bob, and this is really great. We've seen this is a really popular summer build, summer and fall. If you're, you know, want to, you know, do something fun outside with the family and friends, you can make a projector screen frame and, you know, watch movies or TV shows, whatever outside. And Bob kind of took it to another level and built this one to go across his pool. So you can imagine you get some pool floats and you're just chilling and hanging out and you can watch a movie. It's just really great. And he shared uh, a sketch and a list of everything that he used to make the 10 by 20 movie screen, as you can see. He's got the parts listed that he used for the corners, and he used some 90s. It looks like some T connectors and four ways, and he included all the bracing and everything. And then you can look at the pictures and see here's kind of from the perspective from behind the screen, and you can see how these parts were used. The 180 in the middle, the 90s in the corners, looks like T connectors and 45s and everything he used. So if you want to make something, even if it's not going over top of a pool, you can make this exact same setup with the information that he shared, which is really cool. Thanks so much, Bob, for sharing that. Really great project. I bet it's a lot of fun uh, to hang out in the pool and watch movies. Next up is this batting cage from Edelberto, and this is a really awesome project. We've seen quite a few batting cages over the years, and this looks like a very similar design. It's just a huge cube, basically, with 90-degree connectors in the corners, and then every few feet, it looks like he added a vertical using, I think, 90-degree connectors again. Actually, no, sorry. He would have used uh, four-way connectors there uh, every few feet just to add a horizontal uh, piece that comes out of the front and goes to the other side, and then a vertical piece here that adds stability to the overall frame. You can pretty much follow that same design all the way around and make cubes like this, and that's what he did going around, and it looks like he used uh, some T-connectors and some 180-degree connectors and there it is with the, the netting attached to the frame. And also you can see in this photo, uh, actually, sorry, this photo, you can see there's nothing on the frame. It's just the silver conduit and silver connectors. And then he went over top of the conduit and added some pipe insulation, which is a good idea if your you know, baseball hits the pipe instead of kind of hitting it and you know, damaging the pipes or causing it to ricochet. This kind of reduces some of that momentum from the ball. Uh, which is a good idea and just a really great batting cage. And I'm sure this is a lot cheaper than some of the prefabricated ones you can buy out there. So that's really cool. Thanks so much for sharing this build. Awesome project. Next up is a couple of garden projects from Robert. And you can see here he has a beautiful backyard garden. Looks like a really awesome place to, to do some gardening and growing of plants. And you can see here uh, he's built a couple of things with Maker Pipe. And he actually added on two existing structures. So you can see here that he had this raised garden bed and he had some vertical posts that were already up. And I think he already had these pipes as well because you can see he used some T-connectors here to attach uh, some probably conduit or some other pipes that he had there. Uh, he used some shims or some kind of a spacer there. You can see just the, the faintest bit attached to the pipe here. But he was able to add on to this and turn this into a frame can use this as a frost proof frame or you can add trellising to it which is really cool and he also had another enclosure built and i can't really see exactly what uh, it was before i believe it's the method that we've seen in the past where you just get pipes and you kind of notch a little bit out of it and then you add a threaded pipe insert and basically you can connect tubes together like that that's what it looks like as far as i could tell and then basically he used maker pipe and conduit to add bracing to the structure added some T-connectors in a few different places and some 180s, and overall just added some reinforcement and stability to this large enclosure that he had, which is really cool. And uh, I think something that's a really great technique, if you have structures like this already in place, you can add connectors onto it and get more use out of it and more stability and rigidity. So that's really cool. Thanks so much, Robert, for sharing these projects. Awesome job. Next up is a pet carrier bike rack built by Nick and Anna. This is awesome. Basically, you can see here on the back of their bike, they had this flat panel, and I'm sure you could probably convert that to a basket or something, but they wanted to create a carrier they could carry their dog in, as you can see in this photo. <laughs> what a cute dog there. And uh, basically, all they did was they made some conduit bins 
to create kind of a U shape. They did two of those and it looks like they just bolted or self-tapping screw through the conduit and into this metal plate here on the back. And that's how they secured the, the U shape bins. Then they just did a, a rung around the top with bent corners, which looks really nice, and then joined together with the coupling there. Then they just used T-connectors to connect this top rung to the U-shaped bins on the bottom and basically just created the framework for a larger carrier. And then they added some cloth and fabric and some cushioning there. And as you can see, the pup is able to ride on the back. They've got a harness attached to it and to the bike frame. Really awesome, and I bet it's a lot of fun for Nick and Anna and also the pups. It's really awesome. Thanks so much for sharing that build. Great job. Last but not least is this really awesome chicken tractor from Michael. And he said he built this out of PVC, but it didn't last very long. So he kind of went at it again this time with, I believe, three quarter inch EMT conduit and maker pipe connectors. And you can see it has a really great design. You know, it has the verticals that go up and arch all the way over the top. And he added some enclosure material to the outside. It looks like he used a mixture of different connectors. You see some 180s in there, see some T connectors. And uh, he had a really clever technique for, uh, here's the backside here. He used a four-way connector and some T's and uh, used a really clever technique for the wheels. Really awesome front door. And here's a close-up of the wheels. It looks like he made some axles with uh, some wood. And I would imagine this is able to flip over because with a chicken tractor, you don't want the chickens to get out, but you want to be able to roll it around. So you can't just put wheels directly on the bottom of the horizontal because then it's going to create that space there that the chickens can get in and out of. So you have to be able to do the wheels parallel. It looks like he came up with a solution for that with wood, which is really awesome. And I think it's able to rotate and twist around to get the, the pipe level with the ground. You may not even need to because it looks like the pipes are pretty much level with the ground already and the wheels are still touching the ground and able to roll. That's really cool. And here's the opposite side. And it does look like something swivels here because that pin looks like it goes all the way around. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure how he did that, but I'd love to know. seems like a really cool solution. But inside the frame, we can see he added some shelving, uh, or I guess that's probably a perch for the chickens. And he just added some T-connectors with some wood going across. He also incorporated some bracing with some 90-degree bins, which looks really nice. And it looks like the enclosure material is secured with zip ties. And just all in all, some really great techniques and really cool things incorporated in this, like the coops that he's got in here. He just did some, uh, looks like some angled wood to create the platform for these upside down storage bins and gives a place for the chickens to hang out inside. Really awesome, really awesome build from uh, Michael. Thanks so much for sharing this. Really appreciate it. If you want to see any of these builds in more detail, they'll be linked down below. Thanks everybody for posting your projects. And if you want to share your build, you can do so in the community or through email or on social media. There's all kinds of different ways for you to share your build with us and we'd love to see it. Thanks everybody for watching and we'll see you in the next video.